So at the end of the last video we were left with this image which is quite good in many ways but some of those edges of those shapes aren't quite what we want, they're a bit too obvious. And whilst the German Expressionist woodcuts would be quite chunky and bold and quite brutal in some of their transitions, we want to make things a little bit better. So in the meantime, while that video was saving out, I worked on a version 5 where I just changed it around a little bit by working with the pen tool. And to show you what I did, I'm going to start with a new file and just show you how the pen tool works. So we're just going to create a blank new file uh, and I'm going to work with the pen tool. And the shortcut for the pen tool is P. So if we go up to the pen tool and I click and hold, you can see I get a tear off which comes across here. So let's, let's have a look at that. And that's going to make life a bit easier, I think, hopefully when we start. Let's have a look at the pen tool. We can click and we can drag and we can draw out a shape. And let's, uh, let's give that a different colour so it's easier to see. Okay, so we've got the shape here. Um, we've got a black edge on it. Um, and I'm going to get rid of the black edge just so we've just got that shape. You can see the, the point on it there. Now, if I wanted to add a point to it, I can click on there. Okay, And now if I want to manipulate that point, you can see that that point is solid, whereas the other ones around it are hollow. Right? So to do that, I need the white arrow, which I need to go up to here. Again, that's got a tear off, so I can drag that over here. I click on the white arrow, the shortcut for that is A. Right? And I can move points around, I can move them in and I can move them out, like that. So if I use the keyboard shortcut, I can use plus, which allows me to add a point. A, which allows me to get the white arrow to move it around. Minus, which allows me to take away a point and A again, which allows me to move it around. Right? If I get V, the black arrow, I select the whole shape, I can just move the whole shape or I can resize it or I can elongate it or I can make it taller and so on. Right? If I then click off and I want to get back to selecting one point at a time, I need to get the white arrow, A, click and drag around a corner or click on the whole thing, then hold down Shift and click on one of the points to make that one hollow and the others all solid or vice versa to move it around right okay so that's quite easy we've got these tear offs which allow us to we can move those around anywhere we want on the screen to keep them nearby but we can close those and just by learning a few simple shortcuts we can um, make life a lot easier so P gives us the pen tool which allows us to draw a new shape plus gives us the pen plus which allows us to add, whoops, if you miss it you get that annoying message which allows us to add points which I've done again there to the shape. A gives us the white arrow which allows us to manipulate individual points and move them around like that. Minus gives us the pen minus one which allows us to um, take away points and shift C gives us the Convert Curves tool which allows us to turn points into curves like that. We can turn it around like that. Let's do one more. Drag it out. And also to convert curves into points if we so choose. So those are the keyboard shortcuts and there's one more I want to add to that. If I have um, the pen tool, and let's add a few more points. If I um, move things around, if I hold down the Apple key on the Mac or the Control key on the PC, let's just set it to the pen tool and let's just draw a new shape there. If I hold down the Apple key on the Mac, it reverts to the last arrow used, whether it was the black arrow or the white arrow. And while I, while I hold down the Apple key, it is still the white arrow. When I let go of the Apple key, it goes back to being the pen tool. So given that P is the shortcut for the pen tool and I know I'm going to be working with um, points on a shape, I often press A, P. So then that when I hold down control, I automatically get the white arrow, which allows me to move individual points around whilst I'm holding down control on the PC or command on the Mac. All right, so now I'm going to close that and say no to save changes. Don't. Let's go to this one here. Go to the light blue color, select it. Now, because it's all selected, we want to press Shift, and then I can move that point around there. I can press Plus, I can add a point, press A, and I can move that around there, maybe like that. 
and then I might want to do press plus for another point there hold down the command key the Apple key and that means I can move that one around like that over there maybe add another one there hold down the command key to move it around so we've got that there and that starts looking better let's press V for the black arrow so that's that's a better one I wonder if we then change the blending mode let's try overlay does that work that's a bit better that kind of ties up with this here so I'm now going to lock that and I'm going to go to the brown layer unlock that select it get the white arrow which is A hold down shift because I've got it selected pull that up now imagine if I was using chunks of wood and I was inking those up different colors I might go over the edges sometimes and not under the edges sometimes but I would get myself something that approximated to the shape and I might add in another one there with the pen pastel if I can click on the actual segment that's kind of annoying let's just get it on the actual segment A for the white arrow drag it up and it doesn't matter if it goes slightly over the edge let's just press V now for the black arrow click off and that's our finished thing and it's starting to look really quite good now